Pan Bossy <laughs> Subvert censorship Thwart thought control And abjure and abandon authoritarian assholes Ban Bossy So we should seek censorship now, I suppose. Did they really think the double B would do better than thinking their theories thoroughly through? Now, seeing that double B, I'm not a billionaire, but I can rhyme and alliterate too. Beyonce, Condi, and Janie Lynch all seem to think that it's just a cinch, that their successes, wealth, fame, and fortune would not ever have come to them if bossy had not been said to them plain. So we must now ban it for little girl's gain. But wait, it was said to them. So they all say. And they are all rich and famous today. So what are they actually on about? And have they really thought this out? But further, banning bossy, or any word, is downright bossy and quite absurd. So just what kind of idiotic cretin would reduce available vocabulary, setting the land of the not-so-brave and the home of the not-quite-free back towards the road of pre-war Germany? Oh yes, you heard me right, we are going there, with the only language that gets smaller every year. But why would the wealthiest of women want to wage a war on words, or eliminate ideas, or excise impolitic thoughts, or disallow unauthorized opinions? And if we begin by banning bossy, should we stamp out not sluts, but slut the word, silence the speaking of the syllables of sleazy slattern, decommission the description of douchebags, quiet the calling out of a cunt. And of course, silence the speaker who would signal to his siblings the sinister slithering of a sociopath. Predatory people with power prefer their prey, not distinguish them. So, start in schools with the small and the susceptible to shaping. Begin with children's words, like bossy, and take those tools of thought off their tiny tables. Ban bossy. I propose a plan in lieu, something more useful for all of us to do. Not just surcease to sad and stupid urge to censor. Not even bellow back off bitch to bossy billionaire's bad brain balderdash. Rather, I recommend the recognition of evil by its practices as paramount. Cults create conformity by childhood conditioning. And Fascism's signature is censorship. <laughs>